Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. It's April 4th, 2022. Let's call to order at 6.30 right on the dot. Nice. Well, according to Verizon, that is. So we're up first is the March 28th meeting. Minutes. Okay. Okay. I motion we approve the minutes. Second. Okay, motion made and seconded to approve the minutes as presented on March 28th. Any further discussion? Hearing no further discussion, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. We have a 3-0 on that. Next up, we go to new business. Jeff, we request to approve disposal of surplus AV equipment. Yes, um, so FCAT has been going through their AV equipment and found a, um, a number of things that were purchased years ago um, and uh, that, the ta that Sunderland had purchased, the telecommunications committee. Um, some of it is usable with existing technology, some of it is not. So um, they would like to continue to use a Panasonic DVD recorder um, and a Shure mix, eight channel mixer. Um, and then they are requesting the disposal of a modulator, a uh, television, a switch panel, a digital video switcher, a wireless mixer, um, I think it's a four channel mixer, and another mixer. Looks like it might be four channels as well. Um, the total value was greater, of, of the stuff that they want disposed was greater than $1,000, but less than 5000 mm -hmm. um, And they would like to use the proceeds to uh, be put towards purchasing new, new equipment. equipment for the room. And so I also have the surplus equipment policy. Yeah. So, so are we, are we going, are we also, so we we're talking about that, but are we also talking about the stuff that they want to continue to use? Uh, they they would like to yeah continue to use a DVD recorder and uh, a mixer that would not be disposed of. Okay, so so they have one that's going to go to the, be in the town of Deerfield. Correct. So is it going to be used for the town of Deerfield or is it going to be used for all of FCAT? Um. Could, I think it would be just for Deerfield. Well, I, 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 uh, I personally don't have a problem with that, as long as I know that's what's 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 happening because the town of Deerfield has um, allowed us to use one of their surplus vehicles. So I don't have a, I, I personally don't have a problem with that. David or Crystal? No, it's fine. It's, it's all their equipment, so. Huh? It's fine. It's fine. All right, so I'll entertain a motion. Motion. Second. Okay, a motion made seconded to approve the uh, the approval to dispose of surplus AV equipment. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Three zero, Jeff. Thank you. Next up on our agenda is ATM annual town meeting motions and review. So, um, and we're look at the motions. Yeah, we have warrant under old business, but if you want to start there and yeah, add everything think, to the warrant first. Yeah, I think we should look. Okay. So, so do you want to vote? Are you going to look? Are we looking for? All of all everything that's on the warrant, we have voted for it to be on the warrant, correct? No. Okay. Then we need to talk about that and vote on that also. Right? Yes. All right. Go ahead. All right. Um, article one to see if the town will vote to hear reports of the select board, the Sunderland School Committee, and all other town officers, boards, committees, and commissions. I say we should pass on that. That way I don't have to write the report. How's that sound? 
crystal. You know. Whatever, huh? All right. I would be facetious. Well, I know, but there's right. always room for yeah, I know. There's always something room. new. All right, let's go. Let, all right. So let's let's go right through and make sure everything is on there. So I'll, I'll entertain a motion. I, this is this is the Scott Bergeron method of warrant. Okay. How do we do it, Dave? Make a motion on them to include Article One as presented. I second. Motion one to include Article One as presented. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 There we go. Thank you. Article Two uh, to see if the Town will vote under the provisions of MGL Chapter 41, Section 108, to set the salaries and compensation of all elected officials for fiscal year 2023, um, assessors, Board of Health, moderator, planning board, town clerk, and select board. Motion to include? Uh, motion. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying yes. Aye. Aye. Yes. 3 0 on that. I was trying to. Screw you guys up. Mm -hmm. Keep you on your toes. Article 3. Article 3 is the operating budget article. Okay. Motion to include. And motion we include. Article 3. Second. The motion made and seconded. Any discussion? If anybody has any questions on the TV, just yell. We can stop or in the, in the audience, okay? All those in favor of Article 3, including the town budget, signify by saying aye. 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 3-0, Jeff. Article 4. Uh, article 4 is the capital budget article. Okay. Motion to include Article 4. Motion. Second. Okay, Article 4 is a is our and actually we're not we're actually they're they're numbered, but we're this not necessarily the final. Typically you would review the articles, numbers, and everything with the uh, moderator, right? Yes. So it could change. It could change. So, so this is the capital stabilization, uh, or the capital budget for 2023. Motion has been made, seconded. All those in favor, please signify aye for the inclusion of the capital budget. Aye. Three zero. Article. The next article. The next article is um, the article to pay accumulated second vacation buyback for elementary school employees. So, so Jeff, can we put this for discussion later about maybe using ARPA funds instead of using uh, free cash because we have that problem of $103 or $103,000? Yes. Okay. Because that money will be coming back, so we could just use it later. Just, we can discuss that. Okay. Yep. So we have a we do have a motion to uh, include the elementary school employee buyback. Motion. Second. We have motion made and seconded to include the Sunderland Elementary School employees uh, vacation buyback. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Article 6. Well, next article is the uh, uh, phase 2 study of the senior center needs assessment. Yes. Motion to include. Good. You can just alternate. Okay. <laughs> I motion we include Article 6. Second. All right. We have a motion made and second to include the um, article that addresses Sunderland's 25% share of the Phase 2 of the Senior Center Needs Assessment. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero on that one, Jeff. Next article, just to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer available funds for the Mosquito Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District. Motion to include. I second. Okay, we have motion made and seconded for the membership of the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District. Jeff, can, can you also um, um, include for a handout for people at the town meeting the report that we got from last year so people can actually see what I mean, it will, I'm sure it will be in the annual report, but um, if we could have a couple copies just so people understand what, what the $3,000 went to last year. All right, we have motion made and seconded to include the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District article. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. 
three zero. Next article is to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer uh, sun share to replace a walk-in cooler at the Frontier Regional School District. Uh, My motion, we accept articles eight. Second. Okay, we have a motion made and seconded to include the uh, Frontier walk-in cooler. And I think Peter had uh, made a good suggestion about using the money from the uh, capital stabilization. Yep. It made a lot of sense. All those in favor of the article, please signify by saying aye. 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 The inclusion, I should say. Article no. Next article, raising for the capital stabilization fund. Uh, motion to include. I second. Do you have you have you don't have a money? A number number for that yet? Do you? Yeah. Uh, I do. It's uh, ninety nine thousand eight hundred thirty one. Okay. If you click on those little, mm -hmm. if you click on these things here, yeah, it shows you the amounts. Ah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We have a motion. Do we have a motion made and seconded on the capital stabilization to include? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, Tree zero, Jeff. Next article to see if we include is our to see if the town. This is our CPA article. Yes, for the Riverside Park restrooms. Yeah. Okay. Do I have a motion to include? I motion we include. Second. So this article is to discuss our CPA projects for this summer. All those in favor of our the article, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Three zero. Next article. This is the next con. This is the next uh, CPA article. And this one talks about putting hundred thousand dollars in the town's conservation trust to be used by the conservation commission. Motion to include. Motion to include. Second. A motion made and seconded to include the Conservation Trust $100,000 to be used by the Conservation Commission. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Three zero, Jeff. Article 12 is the All Encompassing Community Preservation Fund. And this basically talks about where all of the CPA monies we are required by law to put certain amounts in certain different one is community housing another one is open space in historical resource preservation motion to include my motion we include and second any discussion here no discussion all those in favor of the CPA signify by saying aye. aye aye next article is setting the revolving funds for various inspection inspectional services in the community highway uh, community library library room and highway chair equipment motion to include that's you I've got the mm -hmm. evens right. motion to include second motion made and seconded so I could to that. include <laughs> this talks about the wiring inspector plumbing inspector board of health the Sunland public library community room fire inspector highway shared equipment all those in favor of inclusion signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero. See, ever since we talked about it, there's no more little boxes. Because these actually have the dollar amounts in them. Huh? I don't see all the boxes. Because these have the dollars listed. It's when they don't. You have but ever the since box. you talked about it, they didn't come up yet. Just telling you. Well, we, need, we don't need them for the warrant anymore. Anyway. Article 14 is submitted by the Sunderland Personnel Committee. And basically, Jeff, you want to explain this one? Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and 
the there there were no edits by town council, but they did have a comment on this one. Um, hmm. The this article would replace the enumeration of the holidays that town employees get, um, and instead reference the state law for municipal holidays um, applicable to Sunderland. And the thought process behind this change is that every time the state adds a holiday or changes a holiday name, we then have to go through the process, which isn't a big deal of actually going through the process, but it costs a certain amount of money to update our online code. Um, and, and each change is several hundred dollars. So it, it's more of an avoidance cost. Um, I haven't spoken to town council exactly, but uh, they did state, they, they didn't say there was anything wrong with this, but they said that, that they, were, they had a preference for enumerating the holidays. Um, hmm. You know, one, one thing that I had thought of just now is what we might be able to do is instead of naming the holidays, say January 1st, the third Monday in January for Martin Luther King Day, the, you know, whenever President's Day and Patriot, they, you know, they all, so say whatever the day is without actually calling it the name of the holiday. So if the name changes, we'd still have to update it if the state but added yeah. new. So part of this is also because the state added Juneteenth as a holiday. And so this would now include Juneteenth as a holiday. Would we have to then state that every year because of like the, the days that float around on a calendar year? Do you know what I mean? If we call out the day that it's on? Well, it's... Would that like Veterans Day, it could potentially be on a Saturday or a Sunday. Right. So I think it, it's always November 11th. It's always November 11th. So I think that it would be okay because the next line in that I updated the handout with, if I printed it. Um, so we're talking about amending section A of um, yeah, was it section 31, 19 of our bylaws. Yeah. So section B still says holidays which fall on a Saturday will be observed on the preceding Friday. Holidays that fall on a Sunday will be observed on the following Monday. Yeah. If a holiday falls on a weekday or a regular employee's not. So I think they, covered. it's covered there. That's all covered. Um, and, and it would still be there regardless of how we chose to amend or not amend the, the holiday yeah. bylaw. The, the the only the only problem I have with this is I I think back geez I want to start tell people how old I am again but when I was in fourth grade in this room Mrs Brooks in February and we had Abraham Lincoln's birthday off we had Washington's birthday off and we had we had George Washington's birthday off. Right. And we had, and 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 you, and then they combine combine those into President's, President's Day. Day. I I think by 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 changing the way we're doing it, we no longer will rec recognize recognize that it's Martin Luther King's birthday. And. I, I think that's important. I, I, I think, personally, and, and see, I, I had spent time a little bit down south where I knew about Juneteenth a long time ago. And to a lot of people, it's a very important thing. And I hate to start just talking about it as a day off and forget why. And, and, and Memorial Day, I think you, we we lose the the essence behind Memorial Day, Veterans Day, Independence Day, and I understand you know veteran you know Veterans Day. I mean, it, it should be more than it should be more than a day off. It should be we should remember why we have those days off. Personally, and and in we my have that opinion. problem with every holiday, huh? We have that problem with every holiday, pretty much. 
I, you know, I, I, I understand. I, I, I understand there's a, a discussion to be had about Columbus Day because there, there, you know, there, there's a, and, and so if we have a, if we have a concern about that, we, sh we need to address that issue or that, that particular day. But New Year's Day, Martin Luther, I, I think it's important to still that we publicize it, that we, that we are honoring the birth of Martin Luther King. I don't think that that was meant to take that away. I think they're still going to call that those the right. days they are. It's just to avoid having. It's still going to be the Labor Day holiday. It's still going to be the Memorial Day holiday. It's just to kind of. I think the intent here was just to kind of. Understood. Not have to spend money when these are changed. When the name of it's changed, something like that, I think was really the intent of it. So if you're not cha if if you no longer have to change the name, how are you going to know it's President's Day if you're no longer calling it President's Day because you're changing the name and no one knows what day you're changing? Oh, we know. I mean, this is really just a housekeeping thing you know, for us. Yeah, I, I, and I would say if you go to talk to kids in grade school right now, and you told them that, that and if I, if I was in Southern Element. I was in Southern Elementary School last Friday, and I would say, "Do you, do you know this was originally um, George Washington and Mark and Abraham Lincoln? How many would say they knew that?" Couldn't tell you. I mean, yeah. it, but it doesn't necessarily matter in that sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I, and I. I, I see. I don't have a. Pro I don't have a problem saying Veterans Day. I don't have. A, no, I don't have a I, problem and I don't think Veterans anybody Day. has a problem yeah, saying any about. of these days. Yeah. I don't think that's at all what this is about. I think this is about strictly <coughs> a, a very small but a financial right. thing to not have to keep amending bylaws when a new holiday gets added. So Juneteenth is getting added, and that comes with a cost, right, to add it to the bylaws. Absolutely. Yep. And we could still, if, if this had been the rule, or if this had been in place three years ago, now Juneteenth would still get added as a holiday. It just would no longer cost the town right, money, to do it. money to add that into the bylaws. I think that's the only thing this is... Doesn't change how we celebrate it. That's it doesn't up to us. change what it's called. So right. if you know, right now we call it Columbus Day. If that truly, at a state level, changed to what is it, Indigenous, Indigenous Peoples, Peoples Day? Yeah. If it changes to that, we now no longer have to change the bylaw with a different holiday name. We can now call it what the state and you know our peer communities are calling it without having to spend money to change the name in the bylaw but our but if i read what we're changing it to i understand what you're saying all holidays enumerated in master in the law chapter 4 section 7 uh, section 18 that are applicable to some shall be recognized as legal holidays within the meaning of this chapter and regular employees will see these days off with pay. What days are those? No, nowhere in our bylaws is it going to say Memorial Day. Right? Correct. It wouldn't say it in the bylaws. You are it's nowhere is going to say Veterans Day. Correct. It will not and, say it in and, the bylaws. And, and, how will Jeff, and how will Jeff post it? Or the, whoever the town administrator is, how will they post? He'd still post it as Veterans Day. Right? All he does in this case, all you're doing is looking at the state website. You're the saying the policies. state calls this Veterans Day, right. so we get Veterans Day off. The state now calls this Juneteenth. This day is now Juneteenth okay. by the state, and we get Juneteenth off. I understand. I, I, I will just note that I don't think. I don't think that the. Um, yeah, the state does not actually name the holidays. They don't. No, they say January 1st, June 19th, July 4th, November 11th. Do they change that every year? Except Christmas Day. 
um, the second Monday in October. They don't change it every year, no. So they just list the day that they're on. Yep. That does, and I, I am completely comfortable when we make our, you know, 2023 holiday list to continue the naming of it and continue right. to call it that, but I just... I assume well, they structured that the same way be, for the same reason, because then you, without naming it, you don't have to sit there and go through all the, the you know, the legal costs of changing it every time. Yeah. All right. So, um, I have a motion to include? Uh, motion. Oh, no, that's you. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Right. <laughs> I want to be included. Okay. The Both are made and seconded. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? No. 2 1. Next one uh, consent articles. Is that the end of yes. the? Yes. 15 through 20. Yep. Okay. So basically, articles 15 through 20 are the consent articles. Um, motion? Uh, motion for, to include the consent articles. Second. Yeah, motion made and seconded to include the uh, so-called consent articles. Article 15, 16, or... 15 through 20? 15, 15 through 20. All those in favor of the consent articles being included, signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero. Okay. Thank you. There, How we, we did that. Jeff, each year you can make t-shirts with the holidays on them for everyone. We can give them out. At, we can do that. You can be a town meeting with one of those t-shirt cannons. There you go. Hey, I feel like it would be idea. less expensive if we just changed the bylaw. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like the idea that uh, like Crystal said we could use the t-shirt cannon and just fired it. Maybe we can get some more audience participation that way. Any nay votes? They get... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, Jeffrey, what is next? Um, so, essentially, I, I don't know, the the motions are are very similar, but I will... Um, we vote, we vote, we, we vote on the motion. Do you want to vote on the motions? Uh, I think... Not it, yet. Right? I think yeah. if it's all right, I would rather... Um, Un unless there's certain, I, there's certain motions that, I, I mean, like the, like Article 1, We've done in the past, Jeff, because we've gone through the articles that we're not going that are are not going to be where you may end up changing the funding source. Okay. Okay. Right. So, so like, yeah. so the motion for Article One, Article Two, um, we don't have to. We don't. We typically don't take a position on Article Two, so we just we're just okay in the articles. So this is for recommendations mm -hmm. to town meeting. Unless you don't, if you're not ready for that. Um, I think in in my experience, the past couple of years, we've done that jointly with the finance committee. Okay. Um, and I was in, in my meeting. head was thinking that that would be I think the nineteenth, the day after okay. Patriots Day. I can name oh, the holiday. No, now it's now it's now it's the day that Monday is, is off. The seventeenth. It's a day off. I think it's the. 18th. We don't know why, but we have a day off. Or, April 19th is a day off. Why? I don't know. And again, I'm thinking 20 years in advance. I know. I'm making a point. I... All right. So we'll save that for another meeting. Which, which article do you think we need to talk about? Motion. Which motion do you think we need to talk about? Uh, I think we certainly need to talk about uh, the budget you said you wanted to talk about uh budget's a long discussion so um the uh using arpa funds for the elementary school retirement well i i was i was i was i was thinking about that what do you, which which is which one is that that is uh right. five the five yeah Presently numbered as five. What well, do you think? A little mechanics behind that, like. So, not to get too into the budget discussion, but I was thinking about ARPA versus free cash versus stabilization, mm -hmm. and I, I think that m my preference would be to use free cash or stabilization because. 
we can, if we want to use it out, we have to call a special town meeting if we want to use it outside of annual town meeting. So the ARPA funds are more flexible. And I think that having that flexibility to fill in other gaps, and again, when we get to talking about the budget, you'll see we still have a gap. And one of the things that I want to talk about is, you know, do we use stabilization or free cash? Again, because ARPA is more flexible. Um, so th I guess that that's my feeling is that that it, we can spend ARPA funds more readily than we can spend free cash and uh, or stabilization. So I would prefer to use one of those two accounts. Um. And, and I, 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 I would, my, my only thing about using the ARPA for the, the, the buyback, okay? A, the money's coming back, right? The, technically, because we're, we're, you have $103,000 that we're gonna get back next year in free cash. Correct. As I understand the budget. No, 99, it was 103, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so in, in ARPA money, we, so we know what's coming back. ARPA, we also don't have a lot of discussion what ARPA is in the town. So we can, we can, we can, we can spend money, the, bo the board can appropriate that money without any input from the town. I just think it's, it, it's an opportunity to, to let the town know that we have this money, ARPA, that typically that the select board looks at how it's controlled in finance committee, um, but the board of selectmen is a and it, it doesn't go through typically it doesn't go through town meeting, and and I I just think it's a good opportunity for discussion to be had. But I, again, I I, under, I I can understand the free cash. I I understand the the availability and stuff. I don't think thirty four thousand is going to make a break one way or the other to tell you the truth i don't think so just to play devil's advocate if, if it's for the purpose of discussion then i would prefer like the thirty seven hundred dollars for the senior center or the just and, that, and it's more or or the five thousand for the mosquito control district that's fine um, and and though and though and and that's and that and actually though, though that's that's then that's fine uh, and again, I just think it's important to have this conversation, to have the conversations, so people understand what what's happening. You know, there's no, there's nothing wrong with being transparent. I don't think. And we've all, which we always try to do. So, and, and, and not to say we're not with our ARPA. I mean, we make all kinds of announcements and our agendas, and we have the meetings, and everything is done in the open session. Again, sometimes the only time people have an opportunity to see what their town government does is. I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but I see new people at town meeting all the time. Never again sometimes, but they come at least once. So another, thinking through this, yeah. um, will it confuse the issue? Are, are you suggesting that we pull one of those warrant articles? Because, no. so m my concern would be, why is the town asking for town meeting approval for this expenditure of ARPA and not the rest of the expenditures? It, would it yeah. be more confusing than maybe during the capital budget discussion we say, here are some of the capital items that the town... I, I'm, I know. You know. I know. I, I, again, I, that's why we're talking... Jeff, I, is, I'm not saying there's right or wrong. I'm saying there's a, there's a point that you have to have a discussion. Yep. And, and that's what we're trying to do right now. And, and I'm also saying... And, and I'm also saying we're taking, th we have available to us X amount of dollars from free cash. Free cash stabilization should be used for, in my opinion, should be used for the free cash should be used for the unexpected bills that come, that may come due in a town over the course of the year. Stabilization should be look at the longer or, or the longer more expensive, whatever, okay? To me, ARPA is is the American Recovery Renewal Act. I mean, we, we're bringing money to, 
to do good things. Well, we're going to get that money. We're going to get that money back. You know, that 34000 is still, in my opinion, is still coming back to the town next year. So we're going to have $34,000 less of free cash to spend this year. It'll be there next year, but this year we're not going to be able to have that. For unexpected, and we're going to be and we're going to be lower than normal in our yes right yep, yep. so absolutely so I, and again everything I, so we can I mean we we can talk about that I, I mean so this is we have to look at how we're gonna we're gonna have to find money for the uh, elementary school buyback I also think that the I think it's important that the school the school has to start looking at long term they they need to they need to put out a plan. They need to give us a, a schedule as what do they see happening in the next five years, 10 years for the use of, of, these, of this. I mean, in, if, if the town is picking it up, if the town is actually picking it up and it's gonna be every year, we're gonna see 30,000, 70,000, 40,000, we need to know about it. So they should, be, they should be generating a schedule. Well, we can include it and then withdraw it if we have a discussion before, too. We could, you know, we can include the article, have the discussion at the meeting, right? And then withdraw it if we decide to use art before it? You Mechanically? Could. Yeah, you could. I, I, again, that. I just, I, yeah, you could. And, and, and yeah, you're, you're right, Dave. You know as I mean? a town, yeah, it's a town. And then have the discussion. Town wants to use, yeah. I, 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 again, I just, I was just trying to think about how, what, what's the best way to... And is it, do we, when we're talking about, you know, some of, any of these amounts, do we say um, this year due to ARPA, ARPA available funds, we were able to decrease this number down to this because we had ARPA funds paid for X, Y, and Z? And that, and, and again, that, I mean, that's why that's why we're talking about it now. So we can we can talk about it. We you know we don't have to make a decision on this article for the funding. We just just something that we can talk about. Yep. Right. Article six is thirty seven hundred thirty seven fifty from free cash for the phase two of the senior center assessment. Right. Mm -hmm. Did did we ever get a phase one assessment? Um. We have not gotten the completed report yet. So can you can you ask the town of Deerfield for yep. the first first phase assessment? It'd be nice to talk about the phase one assessments and how it leads into phase two. Okay. Uh, the next article is the five thousand dollars from free cash for the Pioneer Valley mosquito. Okay. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, the sum of eighteen thousand eighty-two dollars from capital stabilization fund for the walk-in cooler to Frontier. That makes sense. That was a good idea, Peter. Nice job. Any other? Okay. Ninety-nine thousand eight hundred thirty-one dollars from free cash to the capital stabilization fund. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, I I am still not a hundred percent clear on exactly what happened, but I think that the free cash was not correctly reported and recorded, and so our accounts show a deficit. So that is. The hundred thousand that we're going to that we're going to hit for this year, um, and okay, to free so cash. Got, still, you still don't understand totally what happened. I it has been explained to me, and I am waiting. I I understand things better when I read them. So I've asked for a written for a explanation written, yeah. so that I can make sure I understand it. Um, I think there were two things that happened, and I don't understand how they relate to each other. Plus, we ought to have that in writing anyway for our records, I think, yeah. as, a, as an explanation, because it's unusual in that respect. So, right. Yep. So that gives us a written record of it. Yeah. 
Okay. And then we can all read it and, <laughs> and see what we come back with for interpretation. Yeah. All right, the next two, next two articles are CPA funds. Next three articles are CPA funds, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. uh, article, the next article is the wiring inspectors or the authorized revolving fund. That's pretty much, the next is the holidays and then the consent. Yep. That's pretty straightforward, Jeffrey. It is. Yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah, there's not a lot in it compared to some of the others. Peter, you have any questions? Any questions, Kit? Tom? Tom? Yes, sir. We can see you. Um, I just, uh, I'll try and, and find out more about the uh, out in the future uh, retirement cost for school that you were talking about a couple minutes ago. Um, I know one thing that it's, uh, it, it obviously depends upon what year any particular teacher chooses to retire, and that's, they have to give notice, I think it's by October of the previous year, but it's not something that specifically we, that we would be knowing, you know, five years in advance or ten years in advance or something like that. We would have, but I'm sure we have a pretty good count on uh, how many there are overall, and a, you, could, you could make some sort of broad statements about right some you know, projections how might look. yes you could uh, yeah. and if they're too specific uh, doesn't really take into account the flexibility that the teachers have in deciding what year they want to retire yeah all but you could they, it would help still to have a better grip on this and, and obviously like we talked before the uh, the last uh, agreement with the union you know basically stop this for teachers that were hired after that date and so eventually this will wind down it's just gonna you know it's not gonna be while i'm around but uh, it, it will happen i mean you could the only thing you could do is roughly project based on an assumed retirement age correct ages that's all you can really do knowing that you're not, not going to know an exact number exactly until, right. you know sort of the winner of the year that we're starting to put the budget together yeah. Right, and, and you also don't know how many sick hours of sick time they have. Right, e each okay. specific person, which would could correct. Right, right. it could change yeah. it, but at least you right. know that you don't want to look and go, "Wow, in a three-year span." Right, we're gonna have like Bob, Susie, and, and we have Jen like retiring. fifteen people at yeah. eligible to retire that are all gonna get a buyback or gonna get this. Right. You know, but you can, yeah, something come, you know. Right. You can yeah, exactly. We could, we could get at least some more information that would, that would help us get, you know, help us understand the scope of it. Right. And even if we knew the total right now in the school, you know, because you yeah. said eventually these, pe these people are almost like grandfathered, right? They get right. it, but nobody knew coming in. Even if we know the total number of people eligible for this, and you can start every year shaving right. off that people, that. you're gonna know at some point, you've only got two people left. Right. You know, and it's not gonna be this year or the next year, but at least, you know, you can start planning on that too. Yeah, and, and, and my, my whole thought process also, Peter, was that we, I mean, we always, we, we talk about we could next year have eight new students go to Franklin Tech. Yes. And it would, and, 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 and then at 17,000, I think it's like $17,000 a student, yep. uh, that's a, a, it could be a big, it could be a big hit on our, on our community. Or like two go to Smith and then we've got to do the transportation costs. Right. And, and, and so, so we, and you're right, we know, we know, we, we don't know when someone is going to retire. We're not saying they have to retire or not to retire, but it would kind of be nice to know what our liability is going, going mm -hmm. forward. So that, that's, all I, that's all I was trying we'll get, to do. We'll get, we'll get you whatever information we can. Yeah, and then, then, we start, then we have to start, then we have to kind of start saying, okay, good. Then, then we have to start, if, if what's going to say the next four or five years, it looks like that there may potentially be somebody retiring, then we have to look at our, 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 our free cash use schedule and, and, and we have to, and, and we also have to look at our school budget and our overall budget to try to figure out what's the best way to meet those, 
needs over the next four, five, six, seven years. So, okay. Um, I, 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 you know, just why, why, why you're here. I, I did spend some, some time on Friday with Bill looking over some of the options or some of the concerns at the elementary school, and they, there are some very large ticket items that may be coming up. And and the roof is a big ticket, but but we've been talking about this. But there's there's other issues that we have to that may have to address. So um, I, I was I. I I, I don't know. Have, have you guys ha, ha, has a school committee ever talked about of hiring somebody in the district? You know, for the four towns and frontier, that would be more like a. I'm not going to say a handyman because I think you need a bigger skill set than that, but someone that would do repairs. You know. Like, like for instance, a, a, along the base of the elementary school, you know, from mowing and stuff like that, a lot of the uh, the stuff was, dan you know, a lot of the insulation along the base was needs, to, or, or there's there's uh, vinyl siding that, you know, a rock hit it and there's holes. I mean, have, has, have, have we looked at that? Maybe we need to think of it at the town level, honestly, because we could have the same issue with this building or safety complex you know what I mean and they're all town buildings anyway Maybe yeah we think about doing that at the town level yeah I, I well, just think because about it before you, you have you have you know a lot of the the custodial staff are more they're they're, they're, for, they're focused mm -hmm. on cleaning right and 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 we do need that and, and matter of fact when you walk into the Sun elementary you know when you have a good one and you know when you have a bad one real quick um but i, I would just but but when you look on the outside you kind of know there's certain things like if you if you address those issues if you can address the issues right away right you could you you may prevent right, bigger so damage bigger going down the road yep. so and and there's just in and i you know i had a wonderful conversation with bill and and he I mean, that guy's got a lot, he's got a lot, going to be a lot on his plate, you know, because, I mean, not, he has Sunderland and the other three towns plus fr Frontier, plus frontier. Yep. and they're all, they're all, you know, and he, and he talks about, you know, one town doesn't have a generator in the, in the building, and it's like, ooh, that's kind of, an, I would think that's a kind of important thing, so how much time can, how, how much time can he put on any particular day to, to handle any one school's problem. Because, you know, if you're trying to spec out a generator, or, or like our boiler, you know, we, we sat and we talked about electric boilers, we talked about propane boilers, we talked about uh, replacement of fuel tanks. Um, there, there's a lot of stuff there. And, and, but, but who does that planning, you know? It, is, does, he do, does he do all the planning, or, or does Ben... Ben have to be a, a propane electric boiler guy too, I, which I think is very difficult for him. So I, I think there's a lot of information to cover, you know, to maintain, and, and one facilities manager to do, one facilities guy to handle the five schools, that's a lot of work, and, and that's a lot of work, and, and no one to do it, because I talked to him about something and he said, you know, he doesn't have the budget to, to you know, like a simple thing like to, to, to put a push camera into some drainage pipe, you know, to see where it, where it uh, daylights. It's like, well, I don't have the budget for that, Tom. But, but that's an, kind of an important, you know, because those are the things. And, and Peter, remember way back when we had, when we were talking about the, the wastewater treatment plant, you know, 25, 20 years ago, they never had a maintenance budget. And it's right. like... And the first thing we did is we we, we put I think a fifteen thousand or I think it was a we started off at fifteen it's it's up now but we said here this is fifteen thousand dollars you you need to fix stuff you know replace motors uh, you know buy grease buy oil buy whatever so you know maybe we maybe we need to start looking at that at the school also that I I don't know how you guys would do it but I mean you yeah. you I mean, the problem is that. Uh... 
you know, it's the old thing. You still got to deal with the fact of what the what is where, where do you end up on the bottom line, and what the town can fit into the town's overall budget. Um, you know, I think that that if any place you look, the the issue of maintenance of your buildings, any particularly any sort of educational institution, uh, that's always something that seems to get the you know, the, the, the last bit of money and the last bit of attention and so on because other stuff is deemed more important. And the result is that you have, you know, a lot of building issues and whether we're talking about Amherst or Smith College or, you know, Sunderland Elementary or anything in between, uh, that's a common problem. And I think one of the things that, that, that uh, we've been trying to do recently um, is, you know, partly, partly it's, as far as I'm concerned, getting you guys involved in what's going on at the school so that when we talk about what the needs are there, that you're on board and you're 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 uh, informed and you're um, you know realizing that that the school building is is a town building, okay? It's not just a separate entity. And so when David said about, geez, you know, we got the same problems with needing a you know a really good handyman to do stuff. Well, you know, there's stuff going on around your town offices and. And, and all the other buildings that the town owns, it's got the same issues. Um, you know, I know that the, just the upkeep and maintenance around the town offices is stuff, you know, there's not really money in the budget for that. And, uh, you know, the problem is all this stuff takes hours and you add them all up and whoops, you know, what can the town afford? Uh, the ARPA money obviously is, you know, giving us the opportunity to do a bunch of stuff and, you know, we got a lot more ARPA money, but as you say, there are a huge number of needs around. And you know how we work out the best way to 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 address those needs. Um, let me just say, I'm real glad you talked to Bill, and I'm real glad you know you're getting yourself more educated, Tom, because you've got an engineering and a mechanical background that I don't have, and that uh, I think is real, real important in terms of you know ending up making good decisions. You, you know, it, it, it's it's uh, it's it's. It's interesting what you said, Peter, be, because like either last week or the week before, um, we had asked first, you know, we were reviewing the budget and, and you had sent a, a note to Jeff. And and I, I thought it was important that Jeff shared with you some of the reasons what, you know, was behind where, where we were trying to go, because it's not easy. I just know that the school is prop. I mean, it, it costs like four point one million dollars to rebuild it, um, and that was twenty something years ago, twenty two years ago, twenty years ago, and and now you know we're, we're you you even in your house you have to you have to do things on your house, and I think it's important that we keep everybody aware of what of what's going on. And, and I, I, I personally, I think it's, it's hard when somebody comes up and says, well, th did you see the school, the condition of the whatever? And it's like, yeah, but how, how I, I mean, you, you guys can't forget, you guys, vote the, you guys vote the budget every year. You know, some, sometimes, you know, town meeting votes the budget. Um, it's definitely not sometimes how I would, you know, more than one time, the board has been on the opposite, the opposite side of a uh, a vote at town meeting. But we we respect that. I mean, but at the same time, we also see we also see how hard our employees have to work to try to fill in that gap when gaps are, you know, become, you know, just like just like the carpeting in the um, the library. You, 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 do you have to replace the carpet? No, but if you want if you want a nice facility, you probably should replace you know the carpet. Maintain you know, we don't we don't in our homes our own homes we don't keep carpet for every. And for instance, like we we're talking, I was talking with Bill and and Ben the other day about the uh, floor tiles and and the school and about the water. Well, I think I think we know why the water was popping up under some tiles. I think. Um, but but he's talking about how we'd replace it with a laminate flooring that, that like in the, the regular office. Boy, that I mean, those are good suggestions. Those those are the way we need to 
to do things, you know, think out of the box, you know, don't just don't do something because that's the way we used to do it. And, and I think that's a, that's a good way to, you know, think about things. You know, I, you probably will go right over the, 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 vinyl, the VCT flooring. You could put that laminate right over the top of it without taking the other stuff up. So I don't know. I, 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 I think we have, we have a method we need, but we, we have to look at our, in, the buildings that we have and try to maintain them also. Anyways, so we're all done with motions. What do you want to talk about next? Um, I think we have two things to talk about, uh, budget and ARPA. I think ARPA was probably going to be a shorter discussion. Um, and it was just revisiting the replacement of the telephones at the elementary school. Yeah. Okay. So didn't you have on our last, our last thing we were, we had money to, to do glycol at the school? I, that was in the capital budget, I believe. All right, I don't, I don't, when I was talking with, with, with uh, Bill the other day, I'm not quite sure, he and I are both not sure there's glycol anywhere. I understand what the tags say on the system, but can, can we have the town clerk check the, uh, the, the laser fiche on glycol in the school, look at the old building notes? Yep. And, and I also, uh, and if we could have uh, Bill, if you could pass along Eric White, because I and I and I was able, you know, we were able to find the the plans that shows the asbestos abatement plan. So I'm I, I don't think we have to continue to do that. Okay. Yep. So if if we could look, if we could have the town clerk to look up uh, asbestos and white call. <clears throat> All right. Yep. Next. Did That's you want your... to talk about phones or no? What are you going to talk about? They say it's a priority. What What's the conversation? Uh, whether or not to use ARPA funds. Okay. You got another. You got another funding source. If you're not using ARPA. Well, do you want to take a vote to approve use of ARPA funds? Do you want to discuss it? Do you have questions? Is it on the memo? Well, I mean, we talked about it before. I, th I don't think, like, like Tom was saying, there aren't, there aren't really a lot of funding choices, so. Right. Oh, oh. Did you have your hand up, Peter, or? Oh, okay. So, I mean, I don't have an issue using, you know, based on the past discussions, using ARPA for it. Yeah, I don't either. Just, was that like 28, 24,000? 20, 20, yeah. 20, okay. And that's a recent estimate. Yeah. yeah. So the remote oil gauge, you, you uh, should take that off the. Uh, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> wasn't going to bring that up until after we've met. So, so I would just, just my when when do you have any information on exactly what? is going to be the replacement, the phone system replacement? Oh, I have they, one open. Am I, miss, am I missing a little doobicky? No, I, I had the wrong one open. The, wrong. the, um, the actual equipment or? Yeah, it, it'd be nice to see. It, I understand what they're, but is there a narrative to it? You know how you know how like <coughs> the, the police chief had a nice narrative of why we needed a new officer. Yeah, um, the justification during, in the capital request was that the phones are reaching the end of life. And that replacement sets that work on the system are not available. But I can. No, that's uh, fine. No, I I, I understand the, the need. I, I just I think we need to. To uh, we need to be able to justify. So, so when when you when we say we're going to spend this amount of money for the phone system, we need when when we get done, we should be able to put something in for a minute so something can go to the ARP. This is this is what we're getting for the twenty thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 I and I understand we're going to get those components. 
but what why, are the benefits of the system? What are the what, what are the benefits? Why are we doing it? Yeah. yeah what percentage of it has failed already versus? And, and again, I, I understand we, this. I mean, this. I understand it's it's needed, and and, and I, I don't have a problem of going through. But in the future, I, I mean, you know, like the police cruiser. We knew the police cruiser. We've we've had it. We we said for the last two years that we're, you know, so we we understand a police cruiser. We understand. So I'm just saying. Yep. Okay. It's okay to write. It's okay to. To to. To sell your project to the board, because that we're and then then we can take that, we can put it in our minutes, and then there's there's documentation why something was done. Yep. Okay. All right. Motion. Uh, motion to use ARPA funding for the uh, school phone replacement. I second that. A motion made and seconded for the phone system phone system upgrade using ARPA money. Any further discussion? Without hearing any other discussion, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero, Jeffrey. All right. Um, that was the only thing I had on ARPA. So, an update of the fiscal year 23 budget. Um, start with the good news, which is that the assessors did. The bad news first. <laughs> Um, I can start with the bad news. Yeah, let's get the bad news out of the way. The, the gap is bigger than I anticipated. Um, we still have about an $18,000 gap. Um, the assessors did uh, release 24000 in overlay surplus that we can use for the budget. Yeah. Um, however... They are no, they've noticed an uptick in the abatement um, and exemption requests. So that item has increased as well, so that uh, slightly decreases the overall effect on the budget. And then as we discussed a little bit last week, uh, free cash was lower than uh, we had originally anticipated the lower number to be. So, the you know the assessors just voted on this at five o'clock but i did a quick pass through of the budget and um by making a, a couple of adjustments down and i want to confirm that that these accounts were would be okay it would be um uh potentially the professional development budget, town administrator expense budget, and then level funding another couple of things. I can get it down to about 4,000 um, that we would still need to close. That's a reasonable amount. I mean, we can figure that out. We, we can. My concern is having already made assumptions um, regarding property insurance not going up, um, only one student at Smith potentially, that it, it's a tight budget as it is. Um, and the fact of the matter is things are more expensive. And, and the accounts that I'm looking at are, we just talked about maintenance, building mm -hmm. expense accounts. Um, and I think, you know, so I guess that th there are several ways to, um, to, to close the gap, how, right? How much, how much money is in your stabilization? I, I you don't, don't, you don't know have, the answer yeah, to that. You don't that. have anything listed here. I know. I, I asked for anything. that and I have not gotten it yet and... We you know, what shows up when I look it up is zero, which I know is not correct. I believe last year it was, I want to say it was close to 400,000. More. Um, so, right. So the, the options are stabilization, free cash, ARPA, um, or expense reductions. Well, I, and, and, I, and I, I, would, I, would, I would say that the, the 34,000 that you're taking out of free cash for the for the 
the school, I would I would I would have that as a discussion of stabilization. That I, I I believe that's start, going to start being a long term a long term discussion. And, and we have to start talking about people have to people I think have our our, our residents need to understand that that's just something that we're going to be seeing every year for or more maybe less at some time but for the next to further foreseeable future probably the next five ten years fifteen or more I think the biggest procedural thing is will be like a two thirds majority right out of the stabilization as opposed yeah. to majority so. But and again, again, it's just I, again. So I, I would look at stabilization for that. Okay. I, I. Um. Yep. That that was not related to how to close the. No. You're not suggesting we do that and then use additional free cash because we have more to close the budget gap, right? I just wanted to separate issues. No, you're still going to end up with the same amount. It's just we're going to get you're going to you're going to go you're, instead of having ending with ninety nine thousand dollars, ninety nine thousand you're going to end up one hundred and thirty three thousand. Yeah. Right. Yep. So and 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 we may and if you're four thousand dollars away, you may use say okay we'll use four thousand maybe I'm not saying right. that yet but yeah, thank you. I, I I'm just I'm just saying that I'm I'm looking at you know different ways different ways to to. To, to pay for it, you know the, and and again I, I look at the senior center needs assessment. That's that's a one a one type thing. I, you know, that 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 could be a good use of our money, you know, because it's a one time and it's a it's a and it's a betterment for our community. Yep. That's also almost four thousand dollars right there. So so that that's 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 another you know, to look at so. And and that that so that's benefiting that's benefit so I would look at I would look at doing that I I and I I think we also have to understand why we missed this capital stabilization replenishment that's there's a lot of people that were involved with the the final product last year and I, that seems like a lot of money being missed yep okay I mean that that's Another thing to consider is we're, do we want to use stabilization to replenish that amount because we know it's going to come back in free cash next year and we can appropriate it back to stabilization. And, and that leaves us with a larger free cash balance going into next year. The, the, only, the, the, only, the only thing is that Free cash goes away, stabilization doesn't, right? Right. Well, no, free cash rolls over. Uh, it, free cash goes back to zero. Right. Yep. You have right. to recalc every year. Yep. Sorry. Right? Yep. Stabilization's there. Yep. So you can always use your stabilization. I mean, Stabilization. You could you if you have to have an emergency town meeting, you can always go to stabilization. So, yep. good point. That's why we got it. Mm -hmm. That's why we got it for things like that. It is. Yeah. It is. So, but I'm not saying you know. So I mean, but okay. But we're not too far off. I, I mean, there's still. I mean, the budget's right. always tight, honestly. You know, Jeff. Yeah, so. Look, we're we're used to seeing a hundred thousand dollar deficit, so seventeen thousand to us is. And you know, I, I was just looking at this, it out. and I wanna I wanna go back and I wanna check my state assessment number because it it jumped a hundred thousand dollars where our um, our. our State A only increased by fifty thousand, so I, w I want to double check that yeah, <laughs> that, sure that right. I got the right number there because that mm -hmm. I I'm pretty sure it's right, but I was just looking at these again and going where did we where did we mess and it's 
Okay. It's that figure right there. Um, any direction from the board of recommendations? Uh, my goal would be to come back to you next week with a proposal for a balanced budget, but um, okay, I'm not unless be here. I'm not going to be here next week. <laughs> then we'll pass it. No, no, you, yeah, you can you can talk. Um, I, I but just want to say I'm not going to be here. I think it would be helpful in my mind to know how much and of what additional free cash it sounds like there are a couple that we can use arpa front funds from but that doesn't help with the operating budget that just helps with our free cash situation because we had in my head i had planned on using free cash um do we want to put arpa straight to the operating budget do we want to use stabilization do we want to I, I would not put ARPA to, to the to the budget, I, operation I would, budget. That that in my opinion, that's a no go. But one time one time expenses, yes. Yep. No, and I I agree with that. I think keeping ARPA funds, but I um, so f free cash and stabilization, some amount, or yep. I guess my my concern is if if we cut the expenses too tight we're either going to have to have a special so what, what expenses are you thinking of cutting so i can bring it down to four thousand by reducing the town administrator expense a thousand i want to double check but i think we can reduce uh professional development a little bit um and then Building operating, uh, level funding, the library operating, the library building operating, public safety complex, uh, fire department expense, highway maintenance expense, road machinery, highway. So again, level funding all these accounts, not reducing them. Mm -hmm. And well, then, in, so in Jeff, in, in, that's in benefits. In, in Jeff, Unless, unless you got a crystal ball that tells that the price is not going to continue to rise, how are you going to how you how are you going to decrease expenses? It's not like it's not like you're fat with expenses right now. No. I, I, so so you, you so I think that you have to what you have to do is you have to look at what you have for revenue and expending your revenue. Right. Okay. Yep. I don't think anybody gave a flat. I mean, I don't think anybody gave a, a fat budget. No. Right. No, but what I so what I was thinking is one possible strategy is you reduce it, and if you're talking about fire and police and highway, for the most part, again, ARPA funds can be used for general government services, all of the library included. So if if we wind up saying, hey, we don't have the right amount here, we can supplement with ARPA funds. The challenge that I think you're getting at, Tom, is that, well, next year, we level funded this year, so it's like it's going to be double the increase next year because expenses are going to keep going up, and, and so it's going to be a shock next year, and I agree. Um, so I will, I will be looking at revenues. Um, so, 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 what, what I'm looking at, if, when, when I, when I, again, what I'm looking at, it's, it's your, your mosquito control, the senior center assessment, your, your SES retirement, uh, th those are things that I think that you, you need to, to look, you, we need to look at funding different, than in take, and in, and in not taking those out of free cash. Th those are potentially, are, those are, those are, those maybe are one are one type one time uses. But what about the lock in cooler one? That that's coming out of capital stabilization. Right, but if oh okay. So that's our that's already coming out of right. uh, that's already coming out of yeah. a a a uh, non reoccurring account. Yeah, I see. And and we and we had twenty we had a we had about what twenty. One thousand dollars left over in that account. We like won eighteen thousand for the <laughs> cooler, so we're still going to have in about yeah. still like three thousand dollars in that that account. 
Uh, negative 97, but... Huh? <laughs> I said negative 97,000, but yeah. Right. And, and, and again, I, I don't... And, and again, it'd be really, it's really important to find out what, what went wrong last year so we don't make that mistake again. Yeah, and, right. and that's what I don't understand is here's town meeting, here's the select board saying this is how much is in capital stabilization. Why wasn't it actually there put in? Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So that, that's right. I, I, and, and again, I, I'd rather, you know, the one-time one -time expenses, and, and again, so that I, 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 I'm going to be awful, it's awful hard to, Take free cash below ninety nine thousand, a hundred. I'm gonna say a hundred thousand dollars. Yep, that's getting into dangerous right? territory. Yeah, yep. So. Yeah, and I. I mean, I think you you know, but I I would not be. Nearly as comfortable if I wasn't, if we didn't have a cushion of ARPA and and the fact that my understanding is we're gonna get. And it did, you know, $200,000 that was pulled from free cash this year, put back in next year. Um, I, I would be extremely nervous about having only 99000 right. mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. All right. Select board updates. Want to add anything? No, oh, Peter was. Hmm? I think we have our running orders. Okay. Well, you, you know, I, I'm glad you did come because I, I mean, you know, when, when we're talk, we, I mean, we, we're talking about health, you know, looking at healthcare and 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 it's it's sometimes even the personnel committee making, you know, we had we had um, a letter from the library trustees about the two and a half percent increase, um, and. It's, 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 you don't really know the final budget until you get to right now, right? And it, and it's, and, and this is where the rubber meets the road, you know, the last, the last few weeks, so. And, and I can say that it's, it's going to be a priority next year. It'll still be a, it'll be a priority for us and, and we'll work with you guys and, um, I think we've, we're both on the same page about that, so I think those are things that will help us next year. So I mean, it's just looking at it. I think having a roster of, of who we have, whose contracts fall under the, the grandfather, who has current contracts, you know, years of service, we can kind of start. To, and it's not a huge number of employees, so like we can maybe yep. start to forecast out and then having a game plan for needs of the building. Hopefully Absolutely, that's not a good idea. So okay, thank we'll you. Be on. Thanks. <laughs> All right, Suckman's updates. Uh, I got a capital meeting for Frontier on Thursday. Excellent. I got nothing. We can fix that right up, can't we? Um, we have a we have a uh, South County EMS meeting tomorrow night, um, and. Uh, it's been 10 years wow. for the South County EMS. So we have a meeting tomorrow night. We're going to discuss the last 10 years and the next 10 years tomorrow night. So it'll be a interesting meeting. We'll see where we want to go. Um, again, I, I did hear from the Whiteley representative to the Tri-Town Beach, and it looks like they're want to talk to some of them. They, do you get any information from them? So I told them it's awful hard for us to make a, a determination until we have, see some numbers and see some plan. So I told them to talk to, to you, Jeff, to schedule a meeting, come talk to us. So we'll see We'll see what they're gonna do. But right now, until we have some information, it'd be pretty hard to move forward, I think. Okay, town administrator updates. Um, just two quick updates. One, uh, a couple weeks ago, the treasurer collector come in, came in to talk about insurance in the um, 457 plan, I think. Mm. I think it's 457, and wanted some more. You wanted some more information about the the amount of work. 
talk to her again. She talked to her contacts and she said, you know, if we can limit uh, people changing their contributions to, to once a year, then she thought that the additional amount of work to be able to offer that was not uh, so consequential that it should stop. So, you know, yeah. enroll in healthcare, check in, you know, what you're putting in your 457 in the month of May, and, you know, we can change it for, for the next fiscal year. So is that something that we can do? Can we limit it to once a year? Um, I will, I think we can probably do it by a policy, but I'll make sure that there are no legal uh, reasons why we wouldn't be able to. And, and, and union too, right? Yeah. Cause it could be a so they union contract. is compensation and such, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the only other thing is the work to install the sidewalk along the boat ramp has begun um, mm -hmm. and they expect to be finished later this week or next week with that portion. So that's part of the Riverside Park project. When are they supposed to come and finish the uh, sidewalk along 116? They were supposed to be out there today. Okay. Were they? The um, I didn't see them, but I don't know. Okay. I know George was around uh, filling potholes today, so he didn't get a chance to check in with them, but he, he has a meeting because it's the same contractors that are going to mm -hmm. be doing Garage Road, so um, he's setting up a meeting to do a pre-construction. Were, were there any, would Baltazar come <coughs> back to fix the one or two the manhole covers along North Main Street? Uh, no. I thought there was one of them they were going to fix. Um, no, because I think the determination was that any fix would be more detrimental to the roadway. Make so cutouts and we received a monetary amount for the one that is on School Street. Did. No, we did. Oh, for really? the one on School Street. We got some. Yes. Um, how about with the uh, drainage? We have a plan um, we that was approved by the Department of like Transportation, a design, and uh, and uh, approved by our designers. And so the next step is to talk to the property owner, make sure that they are okay with the plan, and then um, get a right of entry so that the work can be completed. So I'm hoping to do that this week. Okay. Um, and, oh, the other day the, we, we got a, um, we got the uh, email from the uh, senior center. The newsletter. Uh-huh. It uh, specifically about... About the appreciation? No, no, about the um, the schedule. They're they're uh, the talk. They're going to have a, a a thing where they're going to meet and talk about the um, how to apply for Sunland senior housing. Oh, I was not. I don't think I it, it was it was it was on their the monthly um, oh the newsletter newsletter <coughs> what the heck is that <coughs> I th I thought that was they're gonna have a. I don't see it. Um. So, so can we get that on on the community TV? And so, so basically, I I believe it's it's like the the week of the twentieth, twenty first. 
They're going to have um, people come to the um, South Deer, uh, the South County Senior Center, and they're actually going to talk about uh, how to apply to the Sunderland Senior Housing. And you didn't see that, Jeff? No, I did not see that, but I know I, I heard about that from the um, from the well. Franklin County Housing Redevelopment Authority because they wanted to come give an update to the select board uh, about the project and I believe they're going to start accepting applications soon and so they wanted to come I think either next week or the following week. Oh, I may get it. Is it Sent to everybody. So on Friday, April twenty second, from ten thirty a.m. to twelve noon, the Franklin County Regional Housing Authority is presenting an informational session on the lottery for the San Sanderson Housing Project in Sunderland. So that that's that that'll be at the Senior Center. And it, it's Friday, April 22nd, 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. For those, so that's 12 noon, at the Franklin County Regional Housing Authority will be presenting an informational session uh, on the lottery, to, to how do you apply for the Sunderland Senior Housing, also known as the Sanderson Housing Project in Sunderland. Um, so that, that that's coming up. So can we get, And the uh, this month there's also beginning registration for upcoming Mass uh, Walk Massachusetts Challenge, sponsored by the Massachusetts Council of Aging, is an opportunity for our senior center to to uh, win a thousand dollars toward programming. We've been awarded a five hundred dollar grant for our kickoff event on Sunday, May first, which is from two to four at the Sunderland Riverside Park. Save the date, find more details on page four of this newsletter also. So, I, I don't know, does Jennifer put stuff on community TV? Do you know offhand? I, I, I I'll talk to her. Do not know, I, but I can reach out to her too if you want to talk. Yeah, and, and again, there, there, there's, there, her her schedule she does a very nice job with her schedule so it'd be nice to put these things out there so that people know because I, again the lottery we our residents should know yep. and, and some of the residents will get that the first time we'll get a you know and and it's it's getting closer so yep absolutely so, okay anything else motion uh motion second that motion made and seconded to adjourn this fine meeting uh, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero, Jeff. Please declare us out at uh, seven fifty eight.